Good morning, Lord. Thanks for watching over me last night, and thank you for this day of life you've given me today. And Lord, I offer it back to you as my gift to you, for your will to be done in my life today. And I ask this in Jesus' name. And Lord, today I lift up Anthony and his wife, Rhonda, to you, Judy and I, all of Judy's family, all of my family, and all your children in the world. And I ask for a blessing from you on them. And I ask this in Jesus' name. And Lord, let's start this beautiful day with some beautiful inspiration, the only way to start a day in this world. And that's a day with you, Lord. And your inspiration is what today, Lord? Let's go. That's a good one. When faith fails, and it's going to start with a little Bible. We can always get plenty of Bible, and we need a lot of Bible, because that's your word teaching us things we need to know, Lord. And this one from Mark 9, verse 24. Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. Simple, to the point, and needed by all of us, because we all have some form of unbelief in us, and even the most strongly believing still have those little doubts, and it's those little doubts that keep you from Jesus. And then we're going to have a little Bible at the end of this, but when faith fails... And your words on this, Lord, would. This cry of the human heart is as expressive of human need as it was when uttered to me while I was on earth. It expresses the soul's progress. As the soul realizes me and my power and knows me as helper and savior, that soul believes in me more and more. At the same time, it is more conscious than before of its falling short of absolute trust in me. Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. The soul's progress and increased belief than a cry for more faith, a plea to conquer all unbelief, all lack of trust. That cry heard, that prayer answered. More faith, and at the same time, more power to see where trust is lacking. My children seek to go up this path, leading each stage nearer to me. Praise God. And it's a, it's a journey, and you can see it once you realize the reality of the Lord and His kingdom. It's, you're just walking along. He's right with you. He's planning your journey. All the things that come into your path are put there by Him to teach you, to bring you joy, whatever it be. And it's still all going along with Him. And you gain more trust. And then you see, oh, I don't trust you. So you have to practice that. So he puts more things in your path to practice that. And you have to have faith and believe this because without the faith, without the trust, without that belief, you can't do this. I pray for everyone to be able to do it, but you got to have the faith to do it. So you need to pray to the Lord for more faith. I mean, ask him. He'll give it to you. He's not, he's not stingy with it. But there are requirements. you got to ask from the heart. And down the bottom, Lord, we've got another one from Hebrews 3, verse 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Praise God. I don't want to do that. Lord, thank you. That was a great one. They're all good. I, I, I say that all the time, but I have to believe it. I do believe it. <laughs> I haven't found one in there that hasn't made me think more, taught me a lesson, uh, cleared up a matter for me, helped me uh, conquer something. And the, the Bible's filled with them. And the, this one has a little extra and also a lot of quotes from the Bible. Some people don't believe these Two ladies talk to the world. I know that can happen because it did happen with me too. I didn't talk to him, but he talked to me, and that's all it takes. <laughs> you don't need no more. <laughs> no, changes your life. And now I thank him every day for that. You know, I not to say my life is is uh, well, it is great because he's in it. But you know, Lord, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, I'm going to put this up on the internet because I've got a little thing we're going to do with my brother Mark today, and uh, and uh, 
Brother Anthony, you watch this one. Yeah, I think you're good. Because we're using your gift. Yes, we're using your gift to be able to do this. And we couldn't do it without your gift. See, the Lord was thinking about that. He always knows the future. And he always puts in a life. He might put in five years before we need it. But we got it when we need it. That's the thing. All right. I'm going to put it up on the internet. Lord, thanks for being in my life.